then the instructions tell me to find the percentage difference between the sum of the squares of the components and the resultant and I'll show you how I did that in a minute and find the percentage difference and then compare the inverse tangent with the angle and find the percentage difference so using my made up data and again when I see your lab notebook okay I want to see this I want to see the table I should be able to see everybody's the same so it looks really familiar and I'm going to get pickier as time goes on and we all get used to the new system so row one is the only one I have to show the numbers for if, if you want to write them down for the other rows that's fine uh, but if you want to just punch them in your calculator so for row one all I did was square the value the x force and the y force and I got a value I squared my resultant got a value then I took the percentage difference like we've been doing for several months now I divided I changed this change because I kept one decimal because that's what we've been doing in this class I divided by the resultant so in both cases I divided by the resultant value which is either the magnitude or the angle and for my inverse tangent it's fairly straightforward what I did here and that's how you do the row one 